Hey everyone, it's Haneke here and I'm here to talk to you today about pets and specifically having pets in your camps. Now there's various different kinds of ways to get a pet in your camp but the way that we're going to discuss today is using an existing spawn in the world and building your camp around that spawn. Okay, so the first uh, location we're going to go to has Brahman cattle. This location is quite close to top of the world and it has sometimes three, sometimes four Brahmin cattle hanging out in a creek. Here's the location, just, just next to top of the world. Okay, now these pets, sometimes they spontaneously die, like that. But the good thing about existing spawn pets is they always will come back after a little while. So. Don't be alarmed if they just drop dead like that. Also, if, if another creature is to kill them or another player is to kill them, they will respawn again. So that's the best thing about existing spawn pets. Now here I am showing that the camp machine can be placed very close. But anyway, if you place it on, on the shoreline, you've got plenty of space for building. So that's the Brahmin cattle. Now let's move to the next location. Okay, so the next camp pet that we're going to look at is Murgle, a beloved character in Appalachia. Murgle lives just above Welsh Station in the south of the map, and he lives in a little coffee shop. It's a fairly desolate area, um, perfect for camps with a raider or post-apocalyptic kind of theme. There's two locked safes which you can unlock each time you change servers. Quite often they have technical data. And not to forget, it's right next to the train station, so it's super handy for doing your daily selling and um, scripting. See, you can place the camp machine anywhere in this area. It's a really great spot to have an existing spawn pet. The next existing spawn pet that we're going to look at is the Lonely Dog. Now the Lonely Dog lives high up on a cliff above Harper's Ferry. And oh boy, what a view! It's got one of the most beautiful views in this area because it's nice and high up. He lives next to the dead bodies of his former owners. Here is the location, just near Harper's Ferry. You can place your camp machine anywhere up here. This is a great spot if you like solitude and beautiful views. Let's make the lonely dog a bit less lonely and share our camps with him. So the last existing spawn pets that I've got for you today are the scaredy cats. Now I call them that because they have a habit of running away. There's usually three. They can be different colours, sometimes black, sometimes ginger, sometimes grey. Here is the location. It's just below top of the world. They are popular spots, so sometimes it's a bit hard to get on a server where somebody is not already using that spot. But that's what all our extra camp slots are for. They're very cute, but they are a bit fickle. Well, that's it for today. I've shown you four different existing pet spawns around the map. Anyway, I hope you find this information useful. And if you do, um, I hope to see you again for one of my future videos. Have a great day and see you around Appalachia. This is Haneke, signing out.